What's going on guys, Drew Creel here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the most legendary high gain amplifiers of all time. We're talking about the VHT Pitbull CLX100 amplifier. Stick around, you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss this one. So let's get right into this. What I have next to me here is the Pitbull CLX 100 amplifier. And this is a pretty rare piece. This is actually the combo version of the amp. It's not the classic. That's my understanding of it is it's not the classic from VHT. It's the CLX 100. And, um, you know, I've seen amps like this that have the control panel on the front, uh, all the knobs and controls there. But this particular version of the amp, uh, all of the controls are on top, like, you know, on an older Fender amplifier. I've seen some different versions of this amplifier, but I've never seen this one before. And this amplifier is actually on the channel today, thanks to my buddy, Steven Davis. He is letting me borrow this for a couple weeks to shoot this video and share some of the tones that it offers uh, to you guys. So. Huge thank you and shout out to Steve. I'm really excited to play through this amp today and check out some of the tones. Right off the bat, one of the first things that Steve told me about this amp is just how versatile it is. You can play death metal on this amplifier and you can also play country guitar on this amplifier. It pretty much does everything. Before we go over all of the features in detail on this amplifier, I just wanted to talk about VHT Amplification as a company, um, who started it, where it was founded, we'll go over all of that right now. VHT Amplification, which is now known as Fryette Amplification, was founded by Stephen Fryette in 1989 in Los Angeles, California. Stephen Fryette was a repair technician at Valley Arts Guitars, where he worked on equipment used and played by the likes of Eddie Van Halen, Steve Lukather, Larry Carlton, and many others who were popular in the guitar scene during that time. During this time in 1989, Fryette was building prototypes for a powerful three-channel stereo multi-function amplifier, and so he decided to start his own amplifier company called VHT Amplification. A couple years later in 1991, after several advanced orders of the 2150 amplifier, Fryette moved to North Hollywood, where he set up shop in a storefront next door to notable guitar rig guru Bob Bradshaw of Custom Audio Electronics. And for those of you guys who aren't familiar with Bob Bradshaw, he was the guy who built all of the guitar rigs, amplifiers, effects, all the switching and everything like that for some of the biggest guitar players of the day in the 1980s and 90s. And one of my good friends, Frank Pasquale, uh, when I lived up in the Chicago area, he had a Bob Bradshaw rig that I actually got to play through and check out, which was really insane at the time. Um, there's a really cool history there around Bob Bradshaw and switching and effects and all that good stuff. In 1992, VHT moved to Newberry Park, California into their first commercial building. It was at this location that Fryette built a slew of his now famous amplifiers, including the one that I have here called the VHT Pitbull CLX Combo. Fryette became associated with eminent speakers and they created the P100E speaker which is also in this amplifier. There's two P100s in this one. Fryat and Eminence also made two other types of speakers called the P50E and the P75E. Something that I think is really cool about Fryat amplification, VHT amplification, is how versatile they are as a company. You guys should check out the Fryat Aether amplifier. It's this really uh, bizarre combo amp that's made to be like a very vintage style amp. So. You know, I, I feel like VHT gets pigeonholed as being, you know, a high gain company, and they certainly are, but they make a lot of other products as well. Um, there's a, an amp called the Deliverance that, that came out um, not too long ago. But to me, their flagship amplifier is the CLX because it's just the high gain 
beast, okay? It was used by a lot of the hard rockers of the 90s, and then even guys like Misha Mansoor from Periphery used the VHT. Um, the guitar player from Thousand Foot Crutch used the VHT Pitbull. And this amp rips and roars. It's extremely loud, it's extremely heavy, but it also does clean and, uh, and rhythm quite, quite well. So we're gonna look into all of those different things that this amp does in a second here. But I just wanted to go through some of its just general features. So this is an EL34 based amplifier. There are two inputs, high and low. The high input is a little bit brighter, whereas the low input is a little bit darker. There are three channels on this amp, clean, rhythm, and lead. And the rhythm and lead channels share the same EQ. And this entire amp uh, also has a graphic EQ, which can be engaged with this foot switch here. Uh, there is a lead edge switch, which apparently adds a little bit more gain as you move up the neck and play higher notes. So when you're chugging and riffing down low, there's a little bit less gain, which is nice for clarity. And then as you go up and you want more sustain, uh, that's what that lead edge switch does. Both of the lead and rhythm channels have their own gain knob, which is really helpful. And they also have a boost knob as well, or a boost switch. The shift switch on this amplifier uh, apparently switches the treble, middle, and bass shelving to a different uh, notch, a different frequency notch. So <clears throat> we will play around with that as well here in just a second. I think the pro of this amp is its uh, flexibility and versatility, but I think one of the major cons is its behemoth size. This amp weighs close to 90 pounds. Um, so it's super, super heavy, giant transformers in this amp, giant, 12 inch speakers with huge magnets on the back. And so it's a real bear to move around and lift up into the, like the tailgate of your truck or your car. Um, and I can only imagine how heavy this amp would be in a road case. And apparently that's why they only made, uh, you know, a few of these, okay, of this particular model. Um, there are a lot of VHT amps floating around today. Um, they're, they're more affordable. That is no longer uh, run by Stephen Fryat. If you want a real, if you want a real Pitbull amplifier today, you got to order one from Fryat, and occasionally you'll see them on Reverb for right around three thousand dollars. So this amp, in its condition, I would I would guess that because of how rare it is, it would also fetch between twenty five hundred and thirty five hundred dollars on the used market. So when we check out this amp today, guys, we're actually gonna record it three different ways. We're gonna mic up. Um, one of the speakers here and and you're gonna hear how that sounds directly out of the internal speakers of this amp Steve the owner of this amplifier told me that there may be something wrong with one of the speakers So because of that we're actually gonna run this amp into my PV cabinet, which has a Celestion V30 and a G12H uh, Creamback speaker and then the third way that we'll record this amplifier is with the two notes torpedo captor X I actually recently got this, um, you know, specifically for the channel, but also for my own recording purposes. I've actually heard a lot of great things about the Captor X, so we're going to check out what the Pitbull sounds like going through this bad boy. And the cabinet that we're going to use in here is the Friedman 4x12 cabinet uh, that has V30s in it, so we'll check that out. And one last thing, guys, I've got this little pedal board here that I recently put together. We're going to run all these dirt boxes through the front of the VHT Pitbull. And then we're gonna run the H90 through the effects loop. This amp does have an effects loop. So you can hear, you know, kind of what a lead tone would sound like through this as well. So without further ado, let's listen to what this beast sounds like.
quick guys I wanted to just go over my pedal board on the far right we've got a Waza craft TU3 tuner uh, which kind of acts as a buffer that goes into the endless blockade studio grade noise gate which is going through the front of the amp and the effects loop next to that we've got the warden which I'll be turning on and off when I'm playing through the clean channels and the uh, rhythm channel not the lead channel um, and then up here going through the effects loop we've got the H90, which you'll notice that there's a significant volume increase when I step on that, and that's because the effects loops on amps from this time period in the 90s is plus 10 dB. So every time you hit the effects, it goes plus 10, um, and basically that's because I think this amp was designed to be used with like rack effects, not with like stomp boxes. So that's a thing uh, that this amp kind of does that may not be as pleasing to the modern player, but I, I think it's kind of cool that it boosts your uh, leads with a little bit of delay um, when you step on your effects. So, uh, super overdrive, just wanted to use a really standard overdrive pedal. This pedal right here is the high T situation. It's an overdrive pedal that's designed to be run into a high gain amp for tone shaping purposes. So, I've got that on kind of my special setting. I'll be turning that on and off. We got an HM two style pedal here that's the left hand Wrath Deluxe and then we got a Boss FC2 Hyper Fuzz. I'm not really going to be using these two in this video there's just too much amp to explore here so anyway that's what's going on with the effects.
So what we're gonna do now is listen to a clip from an original song that I recorded with this here amplifier so you can hear what it sounds like in the mix. Let's check that out right now.
Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video on the VHT Pitbull CLX 100 combo. This is an amazing rare piece and I thought it would be fun for us to check it out on this channel. So I hope you appreciated that. Um, please let me know what you thought of the amp in the comments section. Make sure you like this video. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you be a part of this guitar journey, this heavy metal guitar journey that we are on together. So once again, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And wherever you're at in the world today, have a wonderful day.